All right, ladies and gentlemen, so moving forward, uh, what we need to do now is we need to take a second to stop and think. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't do. They think that if they just learn Photoshop, then Photoshop will magically make them creative since it's a creative tool. It's not how it works. Photoshop is just a tool like a pencil. So picking up a pencil doesn't make you creative. Using the pencil makes you creative. And the more you use it, the more you'll think creatively. So I'd like you to stop for a second and pick up your pencil. And here's what every designer, every professional in the industry, this is their workflow, right? First thing you do is you just pull out a sheet of paper and you just sketch down words, ideas, colors, themes that you think kind of summarize this project or encapsulate this project. And if I'm working with a client, I'm going to just ask them, give me five or 10 words that you think kind of wrap your company up in a nutshell. If you could wrap it all up in one word, the heart, the passion, the product, the customers, everything about your company. If you could wrap it up in one word, what would that word be? And try and come up with at least 10 of those, like 10 different words that, you know, different facets or different ways of thinking about your company and what it really means and what you stand for. That's a cool process. And this project is going to be a lot of fun if you do this for yourself, right? What are you really about? What, you know, whatever you do on this project, I want it to be kind of about you. So what are you about? What do you stand for? What do you think is important? What do you value in this world and in this life? Think about those things and write them down, right? Um, next, I've got an idea since we're doing magazines, like what would the title of a magazine that was about my life or my interests, what would that be titled? I don't know, you know, and I, I tend to like kind of short, kind of insightful, thought provoking kind of titles. So um, the first thing I wrote was truth under the facts. That's an expression that I use a lot. That's a little too hippie and too long really for this magazine. But notice that I wrote it down anyway. When you're doing this kind of brainstorming, you never scratch anything out. You never sit there and think, is that a good idea or not? You just write them down and you figure out later if it's a good idea or not. But I did truth under the facts, jump or leap, uh, dig and reach. So these are all different kind of ideas. And, and the thing that I notice now is I look at them that these are all things about some sort of change, jumping off the clip, I'm leaping into the ocean, I'm, you know, digging for the treasure, I'm reaching for something that, you know, that I want that I see that I, is just out of reach. That's kind of like, I feel like those words all sort of encapsulate my way of approaching the world. Like, what's the next thing? Like, how can we how can we get better? How can we do better? How can we find something more beautiful? Uh, I write down generally colors that I like to, you know, kind of play around with ideas to include, right? So if this is going to be a magazine cover about you and your life, what, you know, what kind of ideas, what's your favorite band? What's your favorite movie? What video games do you like to play? What sport do you play? And, you know, and they can be interest, but they can also be like character things. Like, you know, maybe you're about honesty. Maybe you're about self-discovery. Maybe you're about creativity. Whatever it is, just write a few of those words down and we can come up with maybe like some fun, like where it looks like that's the, the title of an article. Okay, so that's kind of the brainstorming section. And the next thing I like to do is think about different ways that I could kind of convey those ideas. What would the cover look like? And you can see that I didn't spend a lot of time on these images. I'm not a great artist. These are super rough sketches, but I was just thinking about the look, the layout, how do I want it to look? When you're doing this, especially when you're sort of new to design, it is very important that you learn from Picasso who said, good artists copy, great artists steal. I want you to steal ideas. An idea cannot be copyrighted. A design idea, a way of presenting something can't be stolen. So feel free to mimic somebody who's already done it and done a great job. And this is how every artist learns how to work. In art school, if you're learning about, you know, Van Gogh, you're going to look at one of his paintings, pay attention to kind of what he did, and then you're going to try and practice just to get the, the feeling down, like the technique down. You're totally ripping off the style. That's because it's your learning. And that's kind of what this project is about. So I just did a quick Google search for uh, magazine cover layout design. And look, I can go here to images and just sort through here and look at all these really cool ideas, tons of great ideas, different layouts. Oh, I really like this. 
Oh, I thought that was like her hands in the background. I just, there's something I really like about this. Um, and you know that each of these is a link, right? There's going to take me to a page. This one's called 835 best magazine cover designs, probably a decent resource for looking at magazine designs. Here's a cool one, right? Where they got the title on the side. Kind of interesting. Didn't even think about that idea. So you can see that I'm just looking at ideas here, turning the title sideways. That's an idea. Uh, having the text, I'm seeing a lot where things are like not straight. They're at an angle. Maybe I'm going to try that, right? So I'm just, I'm stealing ideas from different people and I'm going to combine them in my own way. That's what creativity is. So what I want you to do now is just take a few minutes to pull out a piece of paper, sketch down some ideas, sketch down some rough, you know, sketches on what you think the cover might look like. And um, here are, like I said, the ones that I did. I didn't want to uh, take the photos. I found one where I've got uh, photos of me jumping where I, I kind of got in trouble for this, but I took a trampoline, <laughs> this little like exercise trampoline from my house. And I brought it into the classroom and the students and I, we were just taking pictures of, of ourselves jumping off this trampoline and like all these kind of fun poses. Teachers don't do that because I, I got I got yelled at because they're like, a kid could break a leg. Uh, nobody did. And it was a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to use. I got this really cool idea using my word leap or jump or something like that. And I'm kind of like jumping through and breaking through a wall that I'm going to take that letter P and just drag the, the stem down real far. And like I'm busting through the letter. So that's kind of my idea. Go ahead and look at different magazine ideas, get some ideas sketched down on paper, take five to 10 minutes and actually do this on paper and think about this. Uh, if this is done in a class, teachers grade them on these sketches. It's the most important part. We got to think before we start doing. All right. So in the next video, we're going to start talking about some of the tricks and tips that we can use to get a really cool magazine layout from idea to reality in Photoshop.